Hi guys and welcome back to Resin With Me. I am Brandy and uh, for today's video it's probably going to be our last Halloween themed video for this year. Um, you know, it's um, probably won't have time to get in another Halloween video so this will uh, be the last one. But uh, since last video <laughs> was pretty, pretty time consuming, pretty... Uh, in depth and lots of details. I think for this one, I want to go a little more on the simple side. And so, um, I think what I want to do are classic spider webs. And I want to have like a back, black background and um, a white web. So I am just mixing up some darker uh, mica powders. This one is May Spring in Charcoal Black. And then I've got this, uh, the Hippie Crafter Graphite, just to give it a little bit of like, a um, little bit of a silver tint. And we'll also add some black paste just to make sure that it's really opaque. Right, and y'all know me, I've always got to have some glitter going on, so I've just got some black glitter. I don't think it's really going to show that much unless I let the resin start to thicken up a little bit because it, the glitter tends to sink to the bottom if it's too runny, The if the resin's too runny. So we'll see, I might wait a few minutes just to see if I can kind of keep some of it suspended versus sinking all the way to the bottom. All right, so I've also got a little bit of resin mixed up over here because what I was wanting to do was possibly add like a little bit of a white border and then um, have that what it does is when you pour in the black in the center, whatever's on the border will start to like come back inside with the resin. It kind of goes out and then back in. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do that and see if that makes it look a little more spider webby. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of this Dazzling Diamond and White Pearl, both from May Spring. All right, so everything is all mixed up for the white. I'm just gonna go around the edges. Let me get some gloves back on. All right, and I don't think I'm gonna go with like a straight edge. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a, uh, you know, I don't know, like a scalloped edge, I guess, is, is the best way I can think of it. So that's not really how much I meant to do a scalloped edge, but that's just the way that it came out, so. All right, so there is our white, and then we're gonna go in with the black in the center. It doesn't look like it's pushing the white out the way that I wanted it to. So I don't know that we're gonna get the effect I was wanting, but um, we will see what happens. All right, so yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, give it some time to um, just do its thing. I was wanting more of this effect like throughout the whole the whole edge. It's not gonna happen I don't think. Um, so yeah we'll see we'll see what the final product looks like though. Okay so the posters are all set up and I want to go ahead and get my spider web mixture together and for that I am using some of the DuraClear varnish um, and I'm going to mix that 
with some different mica powders, probably the same mica powders that I used already, which is the Spring Dazzling Diamond and the White Pearl. Uh, but first I want to make sure that this uh, base is really white, so I'm adding a few drops of the Cast and Craft White Pigment Paste. And can I just add that I did my own nails and I think they came out really nice. <laughs> I'm also adding some glow in the dark pigment powders that I got from Roxy Epoxy. I just got these online off of Amazon and you can see that there are several different colors. There's, you know, this orange, there's red, pinks, purples, blues, um, all different colors. But there are three that are not, they look more white and um, those are, according to the box, actually going to be the most glow in the dark, like the brightest. And so um, the one that I'm going to go with is the blue green. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping that my spider webs will glow in the dark. I'm going to add this to my mixture and I'm not sure, since I've never used these before, I'm not sure um, if it still keeps that effect even when it's mixed with like other pigment powders and this this varnish since it's not resin. Um, but yeah, we're going to test it and see how it turns out and hopefully we get some nice glow in the dark spider webs. Alright, so now that we've got all of our powders mixed up with the uh, varnish, I'm going to go ahead and pour that mixture into this uh, piping bag and that's so that I can cut a really small hole at the tip of that um, just so that I can draw the the lines for the spider webs and I'm hoping that they, they won't be too runny. Um, I'm probably going to let this mixture sit for a bit just to see if it'll hopefully thicken up a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some nice defined lines for our spider webs. Alright, so I did let the mixture sit for honestly maybe like two hours and it did not thicken up at all unfortunately. I think because it was in the bag and it wasn't exposed to air, the varnish just can't um, thicken up when it's not exposed to any air. Um, so yeah, that's a, a learning lesson. Maybe if I were to do this again, then I would use resin at which I know would thicken up. Um, but yeah, I ended up having to use another piping bag because the first one I cut the hole a little bit too big and it, it was coming out too quickly. So I placed it in a second piping bag and cut a smaller hole. And you can see that I'm just going in, I'm drawing my lines. They're not quite as um, defined, not, not as neat as I was hoping they would be since the mixture is pretty runny. But I think overall, considering um, what I had to work with, they came out pretty nicely. You can see that I'm also going in with a popsicle stick just to sort of clean up those lines and try to extend the points a little bit, um, just make them look a little neater. Um, and then uh, once all of this is set up, then I will go in with a clear coat just to seal everything in. Alright you guys, so um, they are just about done. They are pretty hard, but if I, I pressed, they, um, I actually did press and you, there was like a little indentation. I think it's kind of leveled out now though. So they're still a little uh, malleable, still uh, bendy, but um, I, so I'm going to leave them in here uh, and then add just like a silver edging. But, and you can see I'm working on other stuff. <laughs> These are my, my resin uh, shot glasses with flowers in them. Those are some of my my uh, top selling, I guess, items from Etsy. And then these are just kind of a test that I'm doing. Holographic stuff is like all the rage with, with resin right now. I've seen it on several Instagram pages and YouTube videos. So I was like, well, let me, you know, let me try. So these are some earrings that I've just uh, pressed on some tape to hold the resin in. I let that resin get tacky a little bit and then put the holographic vinyl on the back and then I just kind of turned them over. So uh, those are setting up and then I'll, I'll see how they look uh, once they're fully cured and, and trim everything off. But since I used the glow in the dark 
uh, my, I, I don't know if you call it a mica powder, but a pigment powder at least. I want to do a reveal and see how it turned out. So I'm going to get all of the lights turned off and then we will see if it actually glows in the dark. All right, so I've got one last ring light back here that I will turn off. And let's do a countdown. One, two, three. I'm like being really annoying. Oh my gosh. You can like really see the 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 bottle. That is very <laughs> luminescent. Wow, they do. It took like a quick second. My poor camera's like, I don't know what you're focusing on, but wow, they do glow in the dark. And over here you can see <laughs> the mess I made. It kind of reminds me of like when they uh, shine the the black light in like a hotel room on movies not to be gross but that's what it reminds me of but look you guys they do glow in the dark it's it's a little bit fuzzy on the camera i think just because they're not as bright as that but they do glow in the dark yay <laughs> very happy about that yay that's exciting all right so i Turn the lights back on. I was doing something with the buttons on the camera, the settings. I was like, uh-oh, let me turn these lights on. Um, but yay, that was my last Halloween video for this year. I, I hope you like it, and I'm so glad that they did turn out to glow in the dark. These two uh, spider webs are probably my least favorites. This one, I went back and added another line because I was like, oh, it's too spread out, but now it's too crowded. I don't like it, and this one's just really thick. But overall, I think they turned out really nicely they do glow in the dark so excited about that um so yeah i think we can go ahead and and you know start some other projects not halloween themed but let me know um i think i do it depending on how these turn out i may want to um just do a quick tutorial on those on the earrings and i hope you will uh, come back and resin with me in my next video i hope you all have a fabulous spooky Halloween this year, and I will see y'all next time. Have a great day, y'all.